leprosy, also known as Hansen disease. 80% of the cases of leprosy are actually occurring in foreign countries such as India, Brazil, and Indonesia. And the organism that is responsible for leprosy is known as Mycobacterium leprae. And it is spread from person to person through nasal droplets. Nasal droplets and secretions are the main source of spread. In terms of symptoms, after infection, the symptoms actually will take years on average to uh, develop. And on average, you're looking at about five to seven years before the symptoms appear after a person is infected with the mycobacterium leprae. Now, leprosy begins by affecting mainly two parts of the body, and those two parts are the skin and the peripheral nerves. Now, the skin infection results in some very disfiguring types of papules and nodules, and this can really disfigure the face or other infected parts of the body. Involvement of the peripheral nerves leads to numbness and weakness. Now, initially, that's what you'll have, but long term, this involvement of the peripheral nerves can lead to inability of the patient to feel pain or temperature. And then, as time goes on, this can eventually lead to the loss of the digits as well. Now the diagnosis of leprosy, in addition to of course the clinical aspect of it, involves a microscopic exam of a skin biopsy specimen. Now keep in mind that there are two types of leprosy. There's tuberculoid leprosy and then there is lepromatous leprosy. When you do the microscopic exam, the tuberculoid leprosy will show no acid fast bacteria. The acid fast bacteria, of course, I'm referring to the mycobacterium species. In lepromatous leprosy, you will see numerous acid fast bacteria. So that's a bit of a distinction there. Another test that can be done in the diagnostic workup of leprosy is a blood test which checks for serum IgM antibodies to the mycobacterium leprae organism. In terms of treatment, there's two categories. The first category is leprosy that is characterized as posse bacillary. What that really means is that there's less than five skin lesions. And then the second and more serious category is multi bacillary leprosy and that is when you have greater than six skin lesions. The first category, there's two medications. You give Dapsin and Rifampin. And these two are given for a period of six months. The second one, you give Dapsin and Rifampin also, but you also add to the regimen a medication known as Clofazamine. And this regimen is given for 12 months. So now let's take a look at a couple vignettes. 65 year old Laotian immigrant has developed thick erythematous nodules on her ears and nose with significant associated sensory loss. The nodules have grown slowly over the course of many years. Biopsy of the lesions shows dermal granulomas with giant cells but no acid fast bacteria. Culture on blood agar and Lowenstein-Jensen medium shows no growth. These findings are most consistent with which of the following diagnoses? Well, the fact that there's no acid fast bacteria kind of throws you off, but that's okay because you can have that with tuberculoid leprosy. And these nodules are very characteristically placed on ears and nose, which is where they occur in tuberculoid leprosy. And the fact that she has associated sensory loss shows that she has involvement of the peripheral nerves. So all of these point to tuberculoid leprosy. And the next one 
Hispanic male is referred to a dermatology clinic of a major medical center. Physical exam, the man has several disfiguring lesions on his face, and there's loss of cutaneous sensation to find touch, pain, and temperature. Acid fast organism is observed in scrapings from a skin lesion. Which of the following organisms is the most likely cause of this patient's disease? Okay, well, the disfiguring lesions are very characteristic um, terminology, and he's definitely got involvement of the peripheral nerves because he's lost um, feelings of pain and temperature, very characteristic of leprosy. And then to top it all off, the acid fast organism, which is Mycobacterium leprae, is observed when they did the skin lesion. Um, so that all points to the organism being Mycobacterium leprae.